everybody and thank you so much for tuning in into my gaming pickups of November 2023. We got a bunch of stuff this month and an awesome story to tell. I hope you stay tuned. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers, so go ahead, click that subscribe button. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have a bunch of Nintendo Game Boy stuff. And that has a pretty funny story, so let me tell it to you. About three years ago, when I was still living with my parents, I made a search ad for video games on Facebook. And I don't know how or why, but for some reason, somebody that lives in the village where my parents live saw that post three years later and contacted me saying, Hey, are you still looking for video games? I have a bunch that I want to throw out. So I was like, yeah, please send me some pictures and your price. And I got pictures and oh my god, it was huge. And she just wanted 150 bucks for everything. Then, about a week later, I got another text that she had even more. This time, basically just empty boxes, but still, oh my god. I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick that up. She wanted 30 for those, so uh, this will be agreed upon. And yet, another week later, she sent me another picture of the Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red that you see down there. She found those two and wanted 10 bucks for it. So yeah, before we go over everything, I paid around 190 for everything. Keep in mind though, it had a Nintendo 2DS and it also already had Crystal and a green Game Boy Color. I sold the green Game Boy Color for 60 and Crystal for 62. That already brings the price down to about 70 euros. Then I also sold the Nintendo 2DS for about 30 euros. So yeah, in the end, I paid around 40 for everything that you see here. So our first item in the Mega Lot is a original Game Boy DMG01 with its box. The box itself is in a beautiful condition. I, I'm just trying to show this off with my clumsy paws, but uh, it really looks very good. The Game Boy itself, in, unfortunately, was in a pretty bad condition. I don't know if I can repair it yet, but um, the Game Boy was definitely inside and the box is in very nice condition. So. Super happy about this already. Next up is a Game Boy Color. As said, I sold the Game Boy Color that came in this box and I put the Game Boy I got last month from Tellura into this box. So I still have a completed box version and I even made a little bit of my money back thanks to me selling the original Game Boy that came with the box. And again, it's in very nice condition. I am super happy about this. It also has this like cool holographic thing. I, I don't know if it's visible in the video, but uh, yeah, I am super, super happy about this because I never had a Game Boy Color with the box and now I have a Game Boy Color in the box. Next up, we have one Game Boy Advance complete in box. Unfortunately, the second Game Boy Advance, they didn't have it anymore. It was just the box with the manual. But still, this is super cool because if I ever find another silver Game Boy Advance, I have a complete in box one. And I didn't have a complete in box purple translucent color Game Boy. So, very happy again like this is so awesome that we found all of this stuff in pristine condition for such a low price i i am really happy about this also here's the nintendo ds complete in box i actually never saw a original fat nintendo ds with the box until i got this so again like really cool find it's in very good condition all of the sides look very good again i'm just trying to show this off with my clumsy paws but yeah, I am so happy about this. This is so cool to have and it's definitely very beautiful inside the collection. So moving to the games, here we have a Raymond Free box. This didn't have the game and I didn't have the game yet. But if I ever find the game, I have it complete in box. Next we have Dr. Mario. This game is complete in box with the game. Also, oh my god, ah, my, my paws are so clumsy. But yeah, again, very good condition very happy about this it has the manual it has the inlay it is very very nice here we have game and watch gallery 2 also in a pretty nice condition but once again like it's like i said in my last video whoever put these stupid stickers on there fluff you here we have column crowns for the game way advance also complete in box we have dexter slap again a game complete in box unfortunately also some stickers on there but it's okay next up is tetris blast again complete in box Again, the box is in very, very nice condition. Everything looks beautiful. Very happy about this. Also, we have a Harry Potter game. I don't know the subtitle of this one, but 
we got a Harry Potter game. Here we have Quartz. I, I think that's what it's called. I, I don't know, it has a weird name. Also, again, complete in box. I like the box because it is mainly pink and, you know, I, I mean, I love pink. Like, who doesn't love pink, right? So, here you go. Beautiful Quartz, complete in box. Here we have Tom Raider for a Game Boy Advance. I already had the game and this was the box only. So yeah, I made a complete box version for myself this time. Here is Adventures of Lolo. Unfortunately, this is just a box and menu. I'm missing the game, but it's not that expensive without the box. So I can probably make this complete for around 15 euros. But yeah, again, very happy about this. I think that Lolo is like a side character of the Kirby franchise. So uh, it's very interesting. I hope I find the game someday so I can play it. Here's Speedy Gonzalez. Once again, a game that is not that expensive without the box, but with the box, it is pretty expensive. So I hope to get the game again for this sometime soon. And yet another empty box that is pretty pricey. Like literally, Bomb Jack is also, I think 150 euros if it's complete. But the game by itself is like 15 to 20. So I can make this complete and have a pretty expensive game by game for basically nothing. We have the stores travel the world. Again, this was a empty box, but I had the game. So now we have a complete in box copy. Once again, very beautiful. Every side looks good. Oh my God, there you go. <laughs> ah, there you go. Pretty good condition, the Smurfs. Okay, now we go under the sea with Ariel the Little Mermaid. Once again, I already had the game. Now we have it complete in box. Also, once again, box is in a pretty good condition. There is unfortunately one sticker up here. It says 50 day mark, which is around 25 euros in today's money. I find it interesting how cheap games were back in the day. We have Castlevania for the Game Boy Advance, a game I really wish was in there. But unfortunately, it's just the empty box and the manual. But hey, if I ever get the game, we have a completed box version. Here we have Mystic Quest for the Game Boy, also complete in box, very nice condition. This game is also pretty pricey nowadays with the box, which kind of surprised me because I always thought that this was like a rather no 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 like nobody game but uh, apparently it's it's actually pretty expensive with the box also i almost forgot to show this we also got the super nintendo in this giant deal and yeah here, here's the super nintendo version N not much to tell about it here is donkey kong land in the nintendo classics version a game i have seen so many times without the box but this is like the first time i ever saw it with the box so once again very good condition very happy about this and uh, yeah another great addition to the Game Boy collection now here again is a very expensive one BC Kid 2 this game like without the box it goes for like 20 to 30 bucks but with the box apparently it's like super rare with the box and it is complete the game was inside um this should like I I, I reckon it's worth around 150 to 200 which is kind of crazy to me because Again, I thought this was like a no title, like no name game, but apparently it's pretty expensive. So again, a very nice condition, not a nice condition, but a very nice addition to my Game Boy collection. Here we have Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land. I am pretty sure I have a loose copy somewhere because this is just a box. So we should have it complete in box. I I'm not 100% sure about that yet right now. But again, it's a very nice box and um, I already had this completed box with the Nintendo Classics version. Now I have the regular version. Again, a pretty cool addition to the collection. And once again, only a box, NES Classic Super Mario Bros. One of the most iconic NES games on the GBA. I really hope to find the game someday because this box is like also again in very good condition. The people I bought this from really kept their stuff well so uh yeah hope to find the game someday just a box for now okay getting into the juicy pokemon stuff we have pokemon yellow complete in box unfortunately the box has a small thing on the side here otherwise it is a very very nice box and you guys know what pokemon games sell for so again really really awesome find i didn't have any of the Pokemon games with the box actually except for Pokemon Red so now I have almost all of them which makes me super happy so yeah here's Pokemon Yellow with the box and here's Pokemon Red I already told y'all I have this one already but it's always good to have doubles because eventually I can trade this for the blue version 
which is one of the last Pokemon games I need in box. I just need Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Ruby, and then I have all of them in box. Here is Pokemon Gold, also very shiny and reflective box. Also, unfortunately, it's like we have a band around it because for some reason the original glue from the factory came loose. So I'm just keeping it together right now until I find a solution to that. But otherwise, the box again, like very nice condition. Everything looks great. It's complete with manual. It just looks overall so awesome. And I am so, so like happy to just have all of these Pokemon games that I never had in box and now I just have them all with the box. Here is Pokemon Silver again, also just like Pokemon Gold unfortunately with the box a little problem. But that can be fixed, I, I know there's ways to fix it, I just don't know when I get around to do that. But yeah, also once again very nice box, no damage to any sides, just again a very very nice condition Pokemon Silver. And here is the game that made me go crazy, like, oh my god, I've been wanting Pokemon Crystal for years with its box, and just to stumble upon it like that for basically free is so crazy to me. Again, this is in pristine condition, like, there's nothing wrong with the box, it doesn't have any, like, edges that, that are pressed in or anything. It is just in a magnificent condition. The only thing missing here is the manual, which I can buy. Like, I can buy a new manual. So, again, this this is probably my favorite find this month. Like, I am so happy to have this. This, this is this is this is my top top find this month. Here's Pokemon Leaf Green. Unfortunately, missing the adapter that is advertised somewhere somewhere there. I I, I don't know if I, if my Claw is pointing towards it, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, no adapter in there, and also no manual, but that's okay, because the box, again, I'm just happy to have the boxes, it is otherwise complete, the game is in there, the Club Nintendo code is in there, um, the box is not as beautiful as the other three, or the, the other five, I should say, um, like, it, ha it has some small dents and stuff, but that that's fine, again, I'm just very happy with this find, so... I can I cannot complain too much. I, I basically paid nothing for it, so I cannot complain too much about it. And here's Pokemon Fire Red. And that's pretty funny because I found this game, like I found the box for this game a few months ago too. So this is also a double now, which again I will keep because eventually I can maybe trade it. But yeah, also Fire Red, again, a pretty nice box. I think it has one thing on the back. I, I don't know. If that's like noticeable, maybe you can see it, maybe you cannot. Um, I don't know how well my camera picks stuff up like that. But yeah, Pokemon Fire Red, also very nice. Like, it's a pretty good condition. So, yeah, Th those were the Pokemon games in this lot. And I cannot complain, like, oh my god. We got um, around seven Pokemon games. If I if I counted correctly in my head, I'm so sorry if, if that's incorrect. If it's incorrect, a number will show somewhere here how much it actually is but uh yeah pokemon fire red awesome okay so now that we got that huge giant deal out of the way let's go over the smaller things like flea market finds and marketplace finds our first deal that has nothing to do with the Game Boy stuff is this new nintendo 3ds xl in metallic black it has its box it's in very nice condition i paid 130 for this with two games that I will show you right now. The 3DS came with Metal Gear Solid 3D Snake Eater, a game I've been looking for for a few months now, so very happy to have this in the collection. I'm definitely going to play this at some point. And Pokemon Sun. I just didn't have this one yet, so I'm just gonna keep it, but not really a game I'm looking to play anytime soon. Here's a flea market deal, Pokemon Black 2 for 15 bucks, and one of the rarest 3DS games, yo Watch 3, for 10 bucks. Unfortunately, without the box, but this game is like really pricey, so I'm very happy to have found this yet again. This is the third time I found this game this year. Okay, so next up is our GameCube deal. I paid 25 for all of these games. So here's Conan for the GameCube. We have Soul Calibur 2 featuring Link from The Legend of Zelda. We have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Lord of the Rings, I do not know the undertitle, so just Lord of the Rings. Here we have Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3. Minority Report, a game I have never heard about. 
Here we have Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis unfortunately missing its manual, but that's okay. And Resident Evil 0 in the Player's Choice Edition. Moving to the Wii U section, we have Spongebob for the Nintendo Wii U. I paid 17 euros for this. It should be worth around 30, I think. But uh, yeah, I just bought it for the full set, so uh, there we go, Spongebob for the Wii U. Here we have Just Dance 4, I paid 750 for this one. Here we have Sing Party, also paid 750 for this one. I will probably never play it though. And our last game for the Wii U, Fit Music for Wii U. I don't know, but this is game is like ridiculously hard to get. You can get it on Amazon right now, but like if you cannot buy it on Amazon, it's like nowhere to be found. It's not on eBay or any other shop I was looking at, so uh, that's why I got it and that's why I keep it sealed. I don't know, I, I feel like this is gonna be a very rare gem at some point. Maybe I'm also completely wrong, I don't know. But um, yeah, fit music for the Wii U. Now we are down to 15 Wii U games. So we're getting there, we're getting to that full set. Maybe next year, who, who knows, but uh, yeah. Down to 15 Wii U games from this point onwards. And we have one Nintendo Switch edition. Bluey the video game for the Nintendo Switch. I paid full price for this, it's new, so there's like no eBay value I can put into this, so uh, yeah. We played this on our live stream a few weeks ago, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, so th that's the only Switch edition, Bluey the video game. And that's everything actually for today. So here is how much we spent this month if we take into consideration the things that we already sold from the mega deal. And this is how much is everything worth. I hope I did good. Please tell me in the comments. Before we end the video, like every month, I want to thank my Kofi supporters. Thank you so much to Heva, Diminished Darkmont, and Bahamut. And if you want to support me on Kofi too, my link is down in the description. Also, what is your favorite find in this video? I think my favorite is definitely Pokemon Crystal. Thank you so much for watching my video again today. I hope that I will see you all again very soon on my channel. Bye!